In this video I'm going to talk about connecting a smart TV to a Myth TV back end. Uh, if you want to know my Myth TV back end setup, I'll put a link in the description to my Myth TV build. Um, first thing I want to do is go to a web browser to connect to uh, the Myth TV back end Myth web interface. So if you go to a browser and type the IP address in of your Myth TV uh, instance that has Myth web installed, you'll come up with this interface and then if you click on listing it'll show you a current list of everything playing. So this is a list of TV shows. So say we want to watch Shark Tank, we'll click on Shark Tank. Then we'll click on record this showing and then we'll hit update recording settings. So now we're recording Shark Tank. If we go back to listings you'll see a green box around Shark Tank listed. We can then go to another show. Um, I see bones down here. Since I'm using a two-tuner system, I can record two shows at once, so we'll record Bones also. And if we go back to the listing, we'll see Shark Tank and Bones are both highlighted. So you can, I'm using the TV's web browser, you could do this on your computer or a tablet or something. But now we have two shows recording, we can access those shows via the DLNA uh, service on the Myth back end. So in order to do that, well, I'll click source on my TV remote and it will, I'll look for the Myth TV back end and I'm using a Samsung smart TV, but other smart TV should work in a similar fashion. And I'll look for the Myth TV DLNA service and I'll open it. I'll choose videos and I'll choose the recordings folder. And then I'll say all recordings. And now if we look in here, we'll see all, all of the recordings. I see bones here. Okay. And I see Shark Tank over here. So I can open up Shark Tank. And I found that it takes a minute or two for this to uh, start to work. Okay, so now Shark Tank is playing. So now we're watching this. Uh, it, we're not watching it live. It's a few seconds behind, but that's kind of what you want to do, uh, you know, to be able to do things like pause live TV. So now we've paused TV. We can hit play again. Now we can uh, exit out of here. I'm using return on my remote and then I can go to bones. And we're watching bones. So this is currently recording to the myth back end and we're watching it stream over DLNA. Now, Typically, if you want to pause live TV, you're probably going to want to set up a Myth front end, but if you don't have a Myth front end, in a pinch you can use DLNA to have similar functionality. And, uh, you know, on a regular basis, if you just record things and then watch them on your smart TV, you really almost don't need a Myth front end, because you can record them, set up recordings using the Myth web interface, and then just watch them by streaming them over DLNA. So, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.